In step four of the CAMPART definition process, the following actions have to be implemented to complete the second stage of defining the CAMPART for iMachining. The procedures for completing this step include defining the machine and work material parameters for the iMachining database. This is a necessary step when milling with iMachining. The machine database and material database definitions will affect the cutting conditions generated by the technology wizard. In the iMachining data area, if you click the arrow under Machine Database, a list of machine definitions will be displayed. A Haas SS is included with the installation of InventorCam. If you click the arrow under Material Database, the drop-down will display 70 plus materials that are supplied with the system. You may find that the materials in the list do not cover the needs of all your parts. Remember that there are over 5,000 different materials used in the industry. For these reasons, you will likely need to add new materials to the database. There are a few ways you can add and or edit machine and material database definitions in InventorCam. Click the Edit iMachining Database button in the iMachining Data area. The iDatabase dialog box is displayed. This dialog box enables you to control machine and material database definitions. Under the Machine DB tab, note these buttons at the bottom left. They enable you to manage machine definitions in the list. The New icon enables you to add a new machine definition. The Delete icon enables you to delete existing machine definitions from the list. The Save As icon enables you to save defined machine definitions under specific names and locations. Finally, the Revert icon enables you to return any edited parameters to their default values. For the purpose of this exercise, you should become familiar with adding a new machine database definition that reflects the parameters of a specific machine. Click the New button. The new iMachining DB file dialog box is displayed. Enter a name for the new machine file. Call it Haas SS New. Then, click Save to confirm the creation of the new machine file and add it to the list. In the general area, there are three required values needed for the machine database. They are represented by the yellow fields and reflect the machine parameters that are constant. For spindle speed max, enter 12,000 RPM in the input field text box. Enter 21,158 millimeters per minute for feed rate max, G1. For spindle power max, enter a value of 20 kilowatts. For reposition feed rate, set the value for XY movements to 10,000 millimeters per minute and the value for Z movements to 3,800 millimeters per minute. Lastly, you should set the machine default level. A default level should be assigned to each machine in the workshop and reflect the basic machine rigidity and its state of maintenance. The assigned default level should not be influenced by the speed, power, or acceleration capabilities of the machine. The default machining level should only reflect the machine's tendency to develop vibrations. For example, an older, ill-maintained, non-rigid machine should be assigned a very low default level between two and four. A brand new, rigidly constructed machine could be assigned a very high default level, between six and eight. For this new machine, set the machine default level to six. It is only necessary to update the default level every two to three years and after a crash or major maintenance procedure. 